Hey guys, J77 here doing two um, topics here. Uh, one of the topics is the uh, Will Smith uh, and his wife's uh, divorce fiasco, as well as my thoughts or my dis dislike in the Blade Runner uh, remake. Um, let's uh, get right to it. First of all, originally I was going to uh, do this as a two re two video um, two video thought. Um, but if, unfortunately, I stopped short doing it for one reason. Um, I was ranting too much to the point where it was it was obvious that I was you know, repeating some words and just not making any sense. Um, and that was due largely because one, I was really really mad at how this um, this whole thing blew up, and two, um, I had a very bad tooth infection, and it really you know didn't make any matters better. Uh, though I was feeling better that day when I did the video, it still did bother me and to the point where I was just really, really going all, all out on limited still to get my um, thoughts across and it really came out like I was like a madman more than like a, a person who had um, his head together. So I'm making this um, as a two-part of video. I'm going to make it short. I'm going to try to make it as simple so that way both um, point of views come together. Um, but that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it as a two-video. Normally I keep one separate from the other, but uh, under the circumstances, I decided to put on one video. So um, without further ado, here we go. First, I'm going to talk about the alleged nasty rumors that was coming, that was being spread all over the uh, the internet papers and the uh, magazines, and that was Will Smith. Um, the, the Smith family is breaking up. Um, a few days ago, it was announced supposedly that uh, Will Smith and his wife, after 11 years, um, has uh, broke up. Uh, and um, this thing spread all over the internet. This thing, uh, this whole thing, rumor spread to newspapers, magazines. It was to the point where first his son made a statement saying that it was not. They're not separating. They're not getting divorced. And it got to the point where. Both uh, Will Smith and, uh, and his wife um, made a public statement saying everything is fine, everything is good, um, there's no worries, you know, everybody's happy. Um, my main concern was where this report came from, um, who um, started this rumor. Um, it was obviously, it couldn't possibly be some one person who um, it was not connected to the media, so it had to be someone from the media. So where this rumor came from? Well, according to... Um, reports um, it originally started from um, in touch magazine now if in case you guys don't know um, those who don't read entertainment news that that is in touch magazine it's an entertainment mag news magazine that covers the superstars as well as some of the projects they're working on uh, these um, this company this magazine along with lots of others US stars um, they basically report about the stars who they're wearing what they're doing who they are with um, um, who's getting engaged? Um, the band, yeah, who getting divorced? Well, apparently, um, they was the one that reported that they were separating after some um, such and such years, and that news pretty much spread all over the damn place. That thing just went hey, out of control. Um, my anger towards what just happened is that the the magazines, and that, it's not even just them. It's it's them, as there's a lot of entertainment magazines as a whole really do report news without ever checking the source first. It's, it's almost like, okay, this is good. Um, we'll put it in there. If it's wrong, we, we'll, we'll fix it later. No. Um, you have to fix that now. I mean, the, the, first of all, it shouldn't even come came to occur. I mean, if you're going to report something, um, the first thing you should do is make sure that the, that the source is, is, um, is liable and you can back that up with other, you know, people who are closest to the Smith family, like um, the Smith's attorneys, their publicists, or them personally. Um, and I don't think they did. They just ran with what somebody told them, and that was it. Um, and that is not a good sign when you do that. I mean, we, they should have learned from what was going on at the news, the, world, the news of the World fiasco that you don't do stupid, stupid stuff like that. And lately, um, the media in terms of the entertainment media has been getting away with it an awful lot in the last 10, 20 years. They've been really pushing a lot of stuff out there. And to me, they're doing it on purpose. I mean, they're really doing it on purpose. They, you know, if you read a lot of these articles, how many times you see um, Katie Holmes and you know, Tom Cruise getting a divorce, or Katie Holmes leaving Tom Cruise, or Katie Holmes is in some kind of uh, serious drug problems, 
I mean, how many times have you heard a lot of other superstars, marriages always on the on the line or on brick of you know being destroyed? And this is careless. Um, to me, it's careless because they know it's not true, but they're being careless about it. They don't really care about it. They're disregarding the, the people's um, happiness. All the sell pay, all the sell magazines, and it's not, uh, and that should not be the case. Uh, there is such thing as slander in this country, and for they've been getting away with a lot of slandering, a lot of slandering, uh, without any prosecution. And I know people saying, "Well, it's freedom of the press." No, the freedom of the press um, doesn't. That doesn't. That doesn't mean they have to abuse their power. I think. I think the news of the world proved that. I mean, they have a responsibility. Any magazine, any news, news, um. Any newspapers, any news, some channel, they have a responsibility to give us the news. But most importantly, just give us the facts. A lot of times, I see these magazines as well as as well as my own newspapers. They have a personal agenda, and they have no problem of displaying that personal agenda through words, manipulating the words to make sure that they not, you know, that they not what they're saying is not personal, or just reporting on stuff that they know is not true. But will sell, ma will sell magazines anyway, and. Um, just you know, just throw it out there. So uh, yeah, I was really upset that the magazines would do something like that because that's not a, that's something that you don't take lightly. If you know that they, if if the person has a divorce, if they is going for a separation and you don't not too sure what it, get the facts first. Make sure you have it there so that way when it when you finally get when it finally comes down to surface, you don't have to worry about people you know criticizing you for you know you know for poor um, journalism and that's what it is. It's poor journalism. Most of these. Um, <coughs> Entertainment magazines are nothing more than poor journalism, and that's why I really, really hate the fact that they did that. And uh, especially towards the Smith family, you know. Now, look, I understand that most of these um, celebrities, they um, they live a lifestyle, and, and unfortunately, and unfortunately, um, having media attention um, is part of that lifestyle. Everybody wants to know who they are, what what they're doing at all times, and, and unfortunately, that goes with the territory. I, for one, don't really much care about any most of these celebrities other than what movie they're going to be in next and how, um, how they're going to react uh, but me learning one learning what they're going to eat next uh, or who they dating that's not my business i don't really don't care and um and i don't see why anybody else should but unfortunately that's what the entertainment and the magazines are for that's why they got pops around see so that where we can get the latest scoop and the latest picture of what our, our favorite stars are doing um but when it comes down to to actually reporting the right news I feel that they should make sure that whatever they're reporting, that is accurate and not just something that is thrown the wind because they know they're going to sell papers or shock the world. I don't know how the Smiths are going to respond to this. I don't, so for what I understand, they're not they're keeping quiet, which is, is cool. Um, they don't need to prove anything that other than what they said, and I think people are just going to take it for what they what, what it is. So um, that's pretty much my feeling on the um, our deal. I'm glad they're not getting divorced. Um, they have they have they they are all wonderful. Wonderful people. Um, Will Smith is a, was one of the top notch actors. His wife is the same way. And, a kid, and his kids are up and coming stars. So um, I think that's pretty much says a lot. So I'm not going to, you know, be surprised. But if they say they're not getting divorced, that's fine, you know. So that's good. Now on to um, my second topic, uh, and that is Blade Runner. Now, as you've been heard, um, I was not a big fan of making a remake of this movie. And I was hoping that this was just a rumor they was throwing out. But apparently, um, they are going full through with it. Um, Tony um, Whitley Scott has signed on um, to do the project with them and um, to do the remake. Um, although there's no release date, it's pretty much a done deal that there will be a remake of Blade Runner. I am dead set against this. <laughs> I really am. Um, the reason why, there's no need to make a sequel to this movie. I mean, this is a one-of-a-kind cult classic. This c film... Um, do not need to be remade. I mean, this film is, to me personally, this is uh, this is um, Harrison Ford's film. Um, I don't see nobody else playing that role at all. And I and I think making a remake to this film is not going to have the same quality. It's not going to have the same um, the same um, darkness that the, this film did. This is a great film, and uh, people, you know, I know people got on me with the um, Jurassic Park for my feelings on that. But there's a reason why I, I feel that certain films should not be made. One, for Jurassic Park, when I saw three, it was clear that they had n almost no storyline to that film. They basically borrowed a lot of storyline to that movie. I still enjoy it, but you can tell that they really have run out of ideas for Jurassic Park. Now, they, they're, they're taking their time with the fourth one, which I'm, I'm glad they're doing, do, doing, but 
I just don't feel that um, Jurassic Park should be, you know, rushed into. As long as they do it right, I wouldn't have no beef with it. But if this, when if I see the film and they see the same thing, or I see something that doesn't even resemble Jurassic Park, people are gonna be disappointed. And I feel that Steven Spielberg should never be pushed to do that. So that was one of my reasons why, specifically for Steven Spielberg, who really don't feel like I really didn't get the idea he wanted to do another one. And I still don't feel like that. Um, he may be giving another director. He may give. Um, he may go back to the original script, which I think that'd be a good thing because that was done because the original script that was done before before sounded very very good. Um, why they didn't use that one, I don't know. But um, that's just my um, my feeling on that. Now for Blade Runner. I don't remember any die-hard fans of Blade Runner coming out and say we want another Blade Runner movie, or let alone a remake. Uh, I think even the fans who saw this film, even the people who have every last the director's cut, the final cut, the special cut, um, <clears throat> they love this film. And there's really no need to make a film. There are certain films, period, that cannot be remade. Um, Blade Runner is one of them. Animal House is two. Fellas Beauty Day Off is 3, Fast Mind and Rich Mind High 4, Maniac is 5, Rocky Horror Picture Show is 6, Wild, um, West Side Story is 7, Gone with the Wind is 8, um, Contra Blanc is 9. Um, I can go on with this whole list. Um, the Dare's films, Bugsy Malone um, is 10. I can go on with a whole list of films that were great films, but to me, they are great because they are original, they are one of a kind films. And these films, you know, they have a it had a beginning and it had an ending. There's nothing else to be said about this film. Blade Runner, although it left in a cliffhanger, it really felt like it was a perfect film. It ended the way it's supposed to be. I loved this film. It was different than what I when I see many other science uh, science fiction films. It was different seeing Harrison Ford in that role. And that's another thing. This is Harrison Ford movie. Um, the same way people was was getting angry, and I and I do agree with them when when I say this was getting angry with um, Dirty Dancing, the same thing can apply to this film where this is Harrison Ford's film. There's not too many Harrison Ford films you can make a remake. Can you honestly, and they actually almost did this and I'm glad they did, can you honestly see in, in, um, Harrison Ford, I mean an Indiana Jones film without Harrison Ford in it? It's not possible. I mean he cemented it from his, his face in that role. The same thing with a lot of other films that have cemented their star's face in that role. Um, I have to give you a, um, a, a perfect example. Dirty Dancing, I want to go back to that. Dirty Dancing, I was not a big fan of. There's a lot of things I didn't like about Dirty Dancing. I did like the actors. I loved the music. The music was excellent. And I liked it, the dancing scenes. But that was really it. But this is a film that is a cult classic. And you know what? It deserves to be a cult classic. Do you really think they should have made a sequel to that? Because they made a Dirty Dancing too. Well, I've seen it. I'll be surprised because they never really advertised it. It came and it just went. Um, and that film had none of that, none of that chemistry that the first one had produced. Even though I didn't really care for what was going on, it still had a chemistry to that film. The second one had none of that. And you have done something that I never thought it would be possible. You made Patrick Swayze a cameo. He was nothing more than a dance, a model on a dance instructor. So that was another reason. So yeah, I'm not happy with this, with, with, um, with the Blade Runner um, being remade. Um, maybe they proved me wrong. Maybe they actually, you know, just take it up another level or make a continuation but I seriously doubt it and I think that you know with the way they do in CGI these days I have no confidence in making this film any effort than with the one last one um that's one the last this one had a this play run the the one I grew up with had a great story and that's basically why I, I, I love it so I hated the fact that they're doing this but they are doing it so so be it um well that's just about it um I will touch more on the Blade Runner as it goes along I will keep you informed uh, um, what's your feeling about the two topics I had? If you guys agree, you disagree, let me know. Um, and until then, you guys take care, and I'll talk to you later on during the week.